Welcome back. So we've been through the tool bag tour. So we had the everyday bag for kind of 90% of the jobs. We said we got a bag for the drill drivers and their accessories. We got the electrical if we're gonna be doing electrical work. But there's a couple other uh, kind of containers that I need on a semi-regular basis. And I used to keep them in bins on my work workbench area here. But I found that when I went to, to take them to wherever the work needed to be done, they would spill over and things like that. So I actually went to Harbor Freight Tools and got these uh, very inexpensive. I think they were like $7 on sale at um, Harbor Freight Tools. And they're little storage bins. And I, I have four of them. Uh, it, it really is for things that I tend to take with me. And um, I'll, on this one, I'll take you through a quick tour of what I have in these ones. So the first one is wall hanging. So <clears throat> what I have in this one are things, it's kind of self-explanatory, but if I wanted to hang things on a wall. So uh, we've got just some, you know, small, typical kind of picture mounting things, a few different sizes of nails. Um, I even have a few kind of um, uh, drywall anchors of different types. Uh, this is the more conventional one that, you, that comes with a lot of products. Um, and then this is a little bit heavier duty one, which I, I used to use for all my heavy duty applications. Uh, but more so lately, the ones I've been using are these. Uh, these are toggle uh, bolts. And unlike regular toggle bolts, which are kind of one-time use, you put them in the wall, you turn them, this one, and then you slide this guy down until it hits the, the wall. The nice thing about it is it means that the that toggle stays in place even if you do repeated screwings in and unscrewing. Um, unlike another toggle bolt, the other, the old school kind of toggle bolts, which is once you unscrewed it, it would just fall down in the wall and then you'd have to grab another one. Very heavy duty. Um, I forget what they're rated at. This is a toggler, bland, toggler brand snot, snap toggle. Wow, that's hard to say. Um, and I have two different sizes. They have the 3 16 which takes, I think, a number 10 screw and a quarter 20 ones on there. So uh, probably could use the smaller one. So uh, that would be the 3 16 if I'm doing the math right. So the number 10 probably would work for most applications. So this is my wall hanging bin. Um, and then I've got screws. And these are not machine screws. These are more wood screws. That's what I do most of my projects with. Machine screws I have in these bins next to my workbench. Um, but this is uh, wood screws. And, uh, you know, I wasn't really sure how to organize this one. And over time, I realized that the length of the screw is actually the most important piece for these things. Um, so if you think about if you're putting a a screw into a shelf or something like that. Most of the time you want to make sure it's long enough to engage into the material, but not too long that it pokes through. So I, I realized that it's really about the length. So these bins just go in order of length. And uh, what's nice about these Harbor Freight ones is you can take, take the bin out and just kind of bring it with you. And um, I also recommend having one of these parts bins like this so that if you do find that one you can look for you can look for one that kind of is maybe a matched pair or something like that or something that you like the type of head better and when you're done you can just pour them back in here this is really handy i think this costs like two dollars or something like that it's it's very inexpensive so uh, this is really nice. I, I also put a little gauge on here. If you, if you see up here, it might be a little bit hard to see. I don't know if that helps, but uh, you can, uh, if I wanna know what length it is when, I'm, when it comes time to like put one of these back into the bin, you can see, oh, that's one and a quarter. So I can throw it in the one and a quarter bin. So that just makes it a little bit easier. So I don't have to break out a tape measure this time. Uh, I basically have the same thing with the flathead screws. I'm not going to go through that. It's the same concept. I got a gauge on those. This is where a lot of my smaller kind of deck screws and that kind of thing go. And then 
The last bin that I have here is for hooks. So, you know, this is for utility hooks that I use around the garage. Um, you know, it could be anywhere, anything from like these that I think are, are meant to wrangle like brooms or stuff with handles, um, as well as like these kind of bike ones, things like that. So, um, I just had a lot of random hooks around and so I just put them all in one bin. Uh, that one I usually use around the garage. But I highly recommend these bins. Uh, the fact that you could take the little sub compartments out, really handy. Um, but yeah, this is, this is a, a kind of nice complement to the to-go bag. So I'll usually look to see which bag I'm gonna take with me and then I'll kind of scan down here and think which one of these I might need. And they tra uh, travel very easily. So again, hope you like these videos. Don't forget to subscribe and, and comment. Love to hear some feedback on any other topics you'd like to see in the DIY world.